El Tide is by far the best leveling experience in Diablo 4. Hey everyone, I'm a big blaze with Diablo 4 Season 4 leveling guide. Season 4 is finally here and it seems like Blizzard did amazing job with this season so far. There is a lot of good changes and I'm having a blast. I hope that the end game will be the same. Let's start. If you are new to the game and this is your first time playing it, you have to do the campaign, but don't worry, it's fun and the story is really good. If you are a returning player and you did the campaign before, make sure you skip the campaign and jump right into L-Tides. This is by far the best leveling experience. Blizzard made a lot of changes to L-Tides. The best one in my eyes is that there is no downtime. L-Tide is up every hour with only 5 minutes between one another. The perfect time to get a drink and prepare for demon slaying. Right now I'm at about level 70 and I did 95% of it in L-Tides. The density is great and there is demons everywhere. L-Tides are so fun cause all you do is slaying demons and get rewards for it. From level 1 till 40 you can do on war tier 2 and remember to use your cinders to open as much chest as you can. This is a lot of XP. Remember to pop elixir if you have for 5 to 8% more XP depending on the elixir. You can make it at the alchemist. You will get a lot of XP from opening those chests and doing the event. At around level 40, if you feel strong enough, you can try and go to the cathedral at the main city to move toward tier 3. When you get to tier 3, Keep doing L-Tides, it's the best leveling experience you will have. There is a few small changes when you get to tier 3. If you feel strong enough and you have the item Profane Mind Cage, you can use it to get a lot more cinders at the cost of 10 more levels to L-Tide monsters. When I use it, I don't even go to the events, I just slay demons and opening chests. No matter if you used it or not, remember to use the elixir for more XP and faster leveling. Another change in tier 3 is more kinds of chests. Make sure to search and open the 2 mystery chests you have at the cost of 250 cinders. Of course, if you have more cinders, open every chest that you see. Again, this is a lot of experience. At around level 58 to 60, you can do the Fallen Temple Capstone Dungeon in Dry Steps. If you succeed, you can move to War Tier 4. During every level of Eltides and other events, you can collect Obols. Tier 4 is no joke at the start, so you can use some of them to get some Ancestral gear for easier time in this tier. The best item you can get is a strong weapon with high DPS. Trust me, you will feel the difference. At tier 4 you have a leveling choice. You can continue with L-Tides if you have fun, but there is another option. Spamming dungeons. You probably don't have the item to enter Nightmare Dungeon, so you can make it at the Occultist. I usually mix and do one L-Tide between few dungeons to make it more fun for me. One big advantage you have by doing dungeons is that you can level your glyphs and become Stronger. Overall, this leveling experience is the best we had since the beginning of Diablo 4. I really like doing L-Tides and we can even get some of our best uniques by doing it. Let me know in the comments what do you think on this new leveling process and on season 4 in general. So far, this season looks great. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel, there will be a lot more videos. If you have any question, feel free to ask in the comments. Or you can even ask me on Twitch when I stream. Thank you for watching. Peace.